All right, what's up guys? It's Kevin from The Kevin Chronicles and I'm here today to talk to you guys about wallets. All right, let's get it. All right, so picking the right wallet can be a difficult thing. So, I mean, it basically all depends on how much stuff you really carry. So if you carry a lot of cash, which not a lot of people do, or if you have a lot of different credit cards, or if you carry business cards, that's basically then to decide what type of wallet that you're gonna get. So basically I have three type of wallets depending on what I'm gonna do that day. Uh, one is a card holder, uh, the second is card holder and with a money clip, and then the third one is a full wallet. So all of my wallets that I have are made by Louis Vuitton. Now the thing with Louis Vuitton is they are very expensive. I think the card holder was a little over 200, the card holder with the money clip was a little over 300, and then the full on wallet was about 400. But you're paying for quality here. I mean, that's what you're getting with Louis Vuitton. I think that Louis Vuitton makes amazing wallets. There's also other options. I mean, you can go with Gucci, uh, Tom Ford, if you want a Burberry card holder, I've seen those before. If you want to go non-designer, there's a million different wallets that you can choose from. I mean, you can get a cheap one from Amazon. The reason why I would suggest that you spend money on a wallet and not kind of cheap out on it is because you're gonna use this thing for a long time, many, many years to come probably. So you wanna buy something that's crafted correctly, handcrafted if you can find it, that's gonna last. And also too, with the Louis Vuitton wallet, say for example, you know, something came out of place or the glazing came off one of the sides where it attaches, I can take the wallet to Louis Vuitton and say, you know, in most cases, not all cases, but most cases I can be like, hey, you know, this came apart, can you guys please fix this? All right, so enough about the review. Let's go ahead and get into the type of wallet. So I'm gonna kind of go through each one with you right now. Okay, so this is my Louis Vuitton card holder, basically your standard example of a card holder. Uh, you can fit about five to six cards, I would say, and a little bit of cash in the center. Um, or if you wanna stack maybe 10 to 12 business cards in here, and then you can put a card on the outside and a card, or, or two cards rather on the outside. So one here and then one here. I usually put like my license and then my main credit card right here. I just put a couple other cards in here. Um, insurance card, AAA card, things like that. So this is basically the card holder. I would suggest this for someone that doesn't have a lot of credit cards or a lot of cards, or maybe just going out for like a night on the town and you just want a simple wallet that you can stick in your, either your back pocket um, or your front pocket and you wouldn't really notice it. So that's the card holder. This is the card holder slash uh, money clip. So basically, as you can see, yeah, there's a card in there right now um, that I don't really use that much. And so stack a couple bills in here and then you have uh, two spaces right here. I do the same thing like I do with my card holder. So I do, you know, a driver's license and credit card. And then you can put uh, a couple more cards in here. I would say maybe six to seven cards in here or if you want to put business cards. Uh, this is more of an everyday kind of use wallet because it has the money clip so you don't have to worry about the money like in the card holder taking up space. But a pretty simplistic wallet as well if you don't have too many cards or too many business cards. This would definitely be a wallet to consider. So that's basically the card holder with the money clip. All right, this is the wallet that I've been using on an everyday basis now. So as you can see, uh, the custom LV there. One of the reasons I got this wallet, I guess it's a limited edition. So I always try to get things that uh, not a lot of people have. So I uh, picked this up a couple weeks ago. As you can see, I got my initials engraved in there. Got credit card. And right in here, I have some business cards. And you can see there's another spot right here to hold more things. A little Louis Vuitton emblem right there. I hold three cards right here. So just the business card, AAA, my license. And then I have a, um, another slot right here, but I don't really keep things uh, in there. And then right here, a couple more room for uh, more cards. And I also keep a little bit of cash in there as well. Just emergency cash, just in case anything comes up. And then you also have a space right here for uh, more cards or additional credit cards. You can keep your license there as well if you know you just wanna get it quick, say you're out on the town and you don't wanna open up your whole wallet. So this is probably my favorite wallet because it just fits my needs today so well. So you know I have room for my business cards, all my regular credit cards and license, and then a little extra storage right here. If I were to suggest a wallet for anybody, it would probably be this larger card holder. I would not suggest a full wallet just because it's too bulky in in your pocket typically or it is in my back pocket uh, and you don't really need the room for that much extra storage if you're only carrying what I'm carrying in my wallet um, if you carry more stuff you may want to consider a larger wallet 
the thing is though, be careful. I've read some articles uh, as far as putting too many things in your back pocket could cause issues later on. So just be careful with that. So that's that on the uh, large wallet slash big card holder, I guess you could call it. All right guys, so that's basically the review today on wallets, what kind of wallet you should get. Remember, if you have more of a simplistic life, not a lot of cards, get the small brown card holder or whatever color you would like, but the small card holder. Uh, if you carry a lot of cash or need a little bit extra storage, then I would suggest getting the card holder with the money clip. And then if you carry business cards in addition to your cards and want something a little bit bigger, uh, I would definitely suggest to get the large card holder that I showed at the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, wallets are an accessory that you carry every day, so make sure that you make the right choice. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you guys next time.